What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel and this is vlog 27 and I just wanted to say that well for one happy new year this is my first video in 2023 but happy new year but it's already here and I know that I feel like I'm kind of late in saying that but like as far as the blessings and the miracles they're already here so it's just like a lot of like significant things have happened to me like it may not seem like important to other people but I believe in signs and so I remember when I was in Mississippi for Christmas and on the last day that I was leaving I was leaving from my grandma's house and they were I made them breakfast my last day I stayed for seven days the very last day I made them breakfast and they were just so thankful like my, my uh, papa was just like, you know, I'm going to remember this for the rest of my life. Ain't none of my grandkids made me breakfast, but, you know, you have, and I'm, I'm going to remember this new. It, it was so good and da, da 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 So something that I felt like was small was really significant for them. So boom, that happened. And then as I was leaving, mind you, I have a ladybug tattoo. I've had this since I was like 17. Y'all, why a ladybug crawl? on my leg like well first it hopped on me and then it flew off like any bug would do so I just was like okay I got a ladybug like like that's a good sign if I just see a ladybug I'm happy to just see that so um but then it flew back on me right so it hopped on hopped off I go about my business it hops on my foot again and it starts crawling on me and mind you, it's like, I'm cool with ladybugs, but I'm still not cool with any bugs crawling on me. So I just let it go because I was like, you know what? If this is if this is a ladybug, I'm going to let it bless me. I'm going to let it, I'm going to just let it bless me. And I said that in my head. I was like, if this ladybug got to bless me from the soles of my uh, on my feet to the top of my head, then bless me, especially right, right before the uh, new year. So I go back in the house. I'm thinking it's going to fly away. It doesn't fly away. I get my jacket, my suitcase, get the rest of the stuff out of my room at, at my grandma's house. And then we um, go back outside. Like I'm in and out the house, in and out the house. This ladybug is not, is not leaving. At this point, it's like on my stomach, whatever. Anyways, point is that ladybug crawled from my toes all the way up to my forehead. Like I let this bug crawl up my neck and I just... I just personally feel like that was so significant. Like for me to have this tattoo, ladybugs are known as like, like a good luck sign, like blessings and prosperity and future love. But um, I don't really believe in luck. Um, but I, I still think that it was very significant because God knows how he talks to me. So I felt like, dang, a ladybug blessed me literally from head to toe one day before going into the new year. So I felt like that was, you know, beautiful. So next miracle, well, that's not really a miracle, but I just felt like that was significant. So before I left to go to Mississippi and I, my last uh, vlog when I was talking about, you know, stuff is even knocking on my door. I, um, God came through with a miracle for me. It was some trouble knocking on my door some paperwork and God took care of it overnight. Like when I tell y'all, God is so real. Like Jesus, Jesus is so real. And I'm really not trying to make this video too long, but like when I say all odds were against me, like, okay, so I got served some papers, right? They served me December 16th. And right when I was leaving to catch a flight, so I'm like, well, look at that time. And I'm about to be gone for two weeks. I'm not about to look at this paperwork. Like, what am I going to do? So I get back. I don't get back until like, so I have 20 days <laughs> to respond to it. Y'all on the 20th day, I'm like, God, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Like, I don't have a lawyer. I'm calling like people in my family, like my mom's cousin, cause she's a lawyer. I tell her my situation. She's like, you need to get a lawyer. And I'm just like, girl, this is the last day. Like this stuff is due tomorrow. I don't have money for a lawyer. I don't know who to call. Like 
one of uh, my neighbors, he got into like some accident and he was like, he called Morgan and Morgan and Morgan and Morgan um, cost it. They charged him $5,000 just to look at the case, just to look at the case. So I'm thinking in my head, like, and this is fair and fair suing me. And I'm just like, I'm I'm up against fair and fair. Like, I don't have not a dime and it's due tomorrow. Like, who, like, what am I going to do? So I, I call, child, God took care of it. I, <laughs> God made sure that people answered their phones. Like, I'm calling people at, like, the last of, at the business day, like, like the end of the business day. And when I tell y'all, I'm thinking like, I'm going to die the next day because I don't have $30,000. I don't have a lawyer. They're going to garnish my wages. They're going to take my house. I sold my car, so they ain't going to take my car. But it's just like, that could have really been like the, the, the end of me. Like they suing me for my whole salary. They, they suing me for 30K and I make 31. Like, what? And so I'm calling State Farm. I'm I'm calling the the other people's lawyers, the people that saw me. I'm calling the, I'm calling their lawyers. Like, what should I do? <laughs> they probably thinking like, girl, we got you. You don't even got a lawyer. But God got the girl. Like, he 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 came through. I I ended up talking to somebody. I didn't have to pay nothing. They talking about something like, don't worry about it. We got you. We know it's due tomorrow, but we're going to talk to them and we're going to extend it. Just fax us all this paperwork and da, da, da. Like, you really don't have to worry about anything. Like, when I tell you, I was crying. Like, God, these people are, this is fair and fair as a big corporation. I don't have nobody backing me. Like, I'm not in the wrong and they're suing me for this large amount of money. Like, it's, it's crazy. But what I wanted to say well, what I have, because I have my notes here, like I was served a summons and no one was helping me and they don't teach you anything about adulting. I think that's why I was really so stressed because they don't tell you like in high, like at what point do you get to learn about like what to do if you need a lawyer? Like say if, well, this is, the situation was I got into a car accident, um, door dashing, she wasn't looking, she hit me, um, but she is still suing me saying that I, I ran into her or whatever. So my thing is, it's like, nobody teaches you how to go about that. Like all you have is Google or like, I'm, I'm talking to my cousin that's a lawyer and she's telling me that I need to get a lawyer. I'm like, I think I know that much, but come to find out, I need to call my insurance company and they'll hire a lawyer. You don't have to pay nothing. Your deductible covers everything. Woo. But it's just like, how would I know? Like, there is no way for me to know that. Like, and granted, that was on my mom's insurance. Like, it's it's just so much that we don't know. So when I tell you I was freaking out because I'm like, yo, I am, my life is over. It's January 4th. No, January 3rd. My life is over. They're about to sue me for my, my whole year already. Like, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to call. But I called them other people's lawyers. Even the word says, like, your your enemies will, will be your footstool. They told me what to do. Just call your insurance company. Why ain't nobody tell me that? And come to find out, they took care of everything for me. But it's just, like, everything happened, like, at the last day, like, at the last minute. Like, it was almost so sp specific that it's, you, you, you can only give glory to God. Like, I know for a fact there was nothing I could have done like I was going to go up to the courthouse with my paperwork, no lawyer, r just r representing myself because I even call these pro bono people, the, the the free lawyers. They talking about some, oh, we don't deal with cases like yours. Excuse me. Even the free lawyers not even taking my case like it. I, when I say I was scared, I'm like, this is not how 2023 is going on. Like I said, my prayers at midnight, 1150 to 1205 saying my psalms like i'm not going like that and god definitely came through so that i had like major miracles within this first week that's what's taking me so long to make this this video because it's like so much is that's overwhelming is 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 happening um but what i also wanted to say was like i personally feel like for such a heavy um, trial 
to come at me like within the first seven days, like not even the first, like at least wait till the end of the month. Like let's take down Christmas decorations and stuff like that before, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all coming at me, but they, but I felt like I'm going through obstacles and trials within like the first three days of the new year. And this is just only the beginning. Like I personally felt like that was such a big, a big monster for me that God took care of like, boop, 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 boop. like it was nothing like literally glory to glory to glory. Like it's no closed doors. Like it was just yes. And uh, amen for me. And so that made me think of this scripture and I'm so sorry that I don't have it, but let me Google it real quick. I'm going to come back to the scripture because I'm going to go to my next point. But um, another miracle was that my I was having issues with my property management, which y'all should know of because <laughs> of my previous blog. Um, yes, that's my scripture. Um... But my property management changed. And so a new property management bought out my house. Um, and they were offering to lower my rent. I said, what? It's only about $20. But baby, that's $20 a month I could save. I was like, y'all. And I'm thinking like, I'm freaking out because they're telling me, oh, we we sold your house. So you you can't renew your, your lease in July. And I'm thinking like, dang, I got to move out and woo woo. And so they sold the house, my house to a new property management and they're sending me all these welcome emails and, you know, just making payment easier. And the manager called me and was like, hey, um, we could take $20 off of your bill. Ooh, and I was just like, God bless you. Like, yes, thank you so much. Like, I really appreciate that. Um, but the verse that I wanted to give to you guys that I feel my first week of January and even the whole 2022, my January verse will be Jeremiah 12 and 5. And this is a scripture that has lately, I have been really, like it has really like settled into my heart. Like it's it's making me like go on go time. Like when I face trials and like tribulations, and things that are that are above me, like literally, it's above me now. Like y'all, y'all gotta go to God because I'm not a part of it. Like when I'm facing like big trials like that, like like with the lawyer, I don't have no lawyer, and fair and fair trying to sue me, and I ain't have nobody, I ain't have nobody to call, nothing. But God came through. Third day of January, Jeremiah twelve and five. If thou hast run with the footmen and they wearied thee, then how how can thou contend with horses? And if in the land of peace, wherein thou trusted, they wearied thee, then how would thou do in the swelling of the Jordan? I feel like that is such a profound scripture because it just makes me think of like everything that I've ever been through. Like if I went through 2022 again, granted it was a hard year, like those were some dark days. Like, let me tell you. Um, But it's just like, if, if you're moving up to new levels and you're going through stuff and this is just and you and you know that that you have to get to a new level and the stuff on this level is bothering you to the point where you want to get up how can you make it to to the next level because like new levels new devils and I'm so serious like when I tell you I have never faced anything that was like threatening my whole the the whole trajectory of my year and God handled it within like a day I was gonna say one hour but it's it It was an hour, but less than a day. So if thou hast run with the footmen and they weary thee, then how can you contend with horses? And if in the land of peace where thou trusted and it weary thee, then how will thou do in the swelling of the Jordan? That's Jeremiah 12 and 25. And that is my scripture for 2023. Because out of all the stuff that I've been through and that I've overcame, it's just like, I look back and it's like, you can just dust that off. Like if you were stripping then, how how can you handle this now? And so I felt like that's why God put me in a situation like that with facing such a large corporation like Fair and Fair by myself to show me like, girl, I got you. Like can't, there's nothing that man can do for you that I can't do for you times 10. You know, it's cool to, you know, trust in man, you know, guard your heart, test the spirit, blah, 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 blah. But when it comes to, 
the matter of your life between life and death, like only God can can do that for you. And so I feel like God put that large trial in my face, like the first three days of January to show me like, this is only the beginning. If I can just take you out of that, imagine where we'll be on December 31st. Like there, there's nothing that God can't do. Like it, it doesn't matter. Like it just, there's just nothing that God cannot do. He can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can ask or, or think or, or, or even imagine. So when your logic is telling you like, I'm about to die, like they got, it's, it's, it's everybody against me. When I tell y'all these scriptures, y'all need to do, y'all need to do this. Like I'm, I'm not playing. Let me read y'all some of these scriptures. And I was reading these scriptures before, um, my, my last day. Cause it was some of these scriptures that were very specific. I was like, it's a reason why you had like highlighted these in my eyeballs when, um, when, when I was making, when I was making them. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and the adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet, because he hath set his love upon me. Therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high because he hath known my name. Like, hold on, it was another one. I'm sorry. Anyways, wait on the Lord. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Yet, Lord, thou knowest all their counsel against me to slay me. Forgive not their iniquity, neither blot out their sin from thy sight. But let them be overthrown before thee. Deal thus with them in the time of thine anger. Give us help from trouble, for vain is the help of man. Through God we shall do violently, valiantly, for it for he it is that shall tread down our enemies. Like, it is not our battle. It is the Lord's battle. So when you're facing these things that are beyond you, y'all thought I was going to jail. Like, I thought they was going to take my house, take my wages. My, my daughter going to have to go over to my mother's house because I don't have none of this money. I don't have a lawyer. And then if I didn't turn in that paperwork by that deadline, it would have went in default. So they would have automatically won. That's why I was going to go up to the courthouse. Like, no, I don't need a lawyer. It's just going to be me. But God knew, like, but God knew I gave it to him already. It's just like, I was just trying to do the work. It's like, my faith was already there. I was like, God, if I got to go to jail, like I was thinking 10 steps ahead already. I was not playing. I was like, all right, Lord, if this is how my year is going to go. If I got to go to jail, that just means it's somebody in jail that I got to preach to. Like somebody going to be my cellmate and I got to bring them to God. Like if you need me in jail, Lord, if this, if this is how you going, if this is how you get your glory, Lord, all of, all of you and none of me. Like I was going that far because it's like, you know, I'm not even about the trip because what can I do? Like there was literally nothing that I could do. I could not do anything. Like it was so out of my hands. And this is why God puts us in these situations for his glory to show him like in a blink of an eye, that could be your life. That could be your life. You feel me? But anyway, so after giving God my 2023, because baby, I was just like, you know what, God? I'm not making any large goals. Like I have like small goals, like, okay, accomplish this by that time. Accomplish. But to say, no, I'm going to be president by November 25th, 2023, or, you know, like just some big, wild, crazy stuff. I'm not doing that because I'm not going to play my life. Like my life is not my own. To you, I belong. I give my set, like real life. You know what I'm saying? Like if you think you, if you, you are, a, <laughs> let me calm down. When you were a baby, and you opened your eyes. You did not choose to be here. So your life is literally not yours. It belongs to God. He gave it to you. So use it. Give it back to him to, to glorify him. Like, thank you, Lord, for giving me this breath and this life. Because I really don't have to be here. Right? So, okay, boom. After giving God my 2023, he released a vision to me. Like, I keep thinking my life is going in one direction. And it's not. But it's cool. And I'm super excited about this year because it hasn't been a week. And I have had solid wins within the first seven days. Like, I really am a witness for Jesus Christ. Um, but I feel like that's what happens when you give your life to God. Like if you just put away all your fun, like it's cool to have like short term goals. Like for example, I want to get my credit score up by a certain point by March or, you know what I'm saying? I want to save for this, that, but like directing your life saying, this is what I'm going to do. You don't even know if you're going to breathe tomorrow. How are you going to tell anybody what you... Just give your life over to God because it has, it's not even, 
the middle of the month and God has already like given me visions about like where we could go. And the thing about God's visions is like he doesn't, he might give you like little sprinkles. Like you think, oh, Eureka, like a light bulb moment. Like, no, that's God's visions. Okay. Give God the glory. So I, I've had visions before, like little, they're like little crumbs, but it's like the more you commit to God, the more detail he'll give you because he knows that he can trust you with that information. And now that you've grown, you will be diligent with these details that he's given you to implement that plan. And then he'll carry you by his power. So he has released some amazing things to me, like some stuff that is just like, that's what you want me to do? Lord, your will be done. I mean, I don't have no experience, but if that's what you want me to do, like to help out your people, okay, God bless you. God bless me. God bless all of us. So, um, but my last bullet point was um, I'm starting the 99 for one on a new channel and I'm going to use this channel as strictly for strictly filming and being an example to living the life that God has given you. The 99 for one will now be a faceless channel because I want God to get his entire glory with the word that he's given me. And this channel is my life. So physical life and spiritual life all in one. But the 99 for one, I moved that to a separate channel. So check out 99 for one official on YouTube. I only got one follower. So it is myself. <laughs> so y'all follow that page. Um, Cause I just wanted to start doing like devotionals and it's just something that I did not want my face in. Um, cause I don't want people to be distracted. Like, like I really, like, I just don't want nothing, nothing of myself. Like whatever God is doing, whatever stuff he's giving me, like, I want y'all to go to God about it. Like I'm literally just a vessel. Like, don't look at me. Don't think like, oh, she ugly. Let me click. Oh, she pretty. Let me click. No, like I want it to be like where God is lit like calling you. That's why I'm not pressed that. You know, if I have like five followers for like two years, I know that those five followers, God talking to them, like, I mean, yeah, the words for me too, but it's, it has nothing to do with me. It's just, it's something that I said, yes, Lord, I'm willing and that he's pushing forward. So I, that's why I wanted that to be a faceless channel. Um, but yeah, y'all go check it out. But that's all that I have. It's already here. The blessings are already here. The winnings are already here. Your life, God's plans, everything that he has for you is already here. There's no need to be crying, sprout out on the floor. God, please bless. Like the blessings are here. Like tap in, like tap in. So I will talk to y'all later. Jesus loves you. I love you guys so much. And I will talk to y'all later.